about uh, uh, tool uh, that uh, is uh, designed in the loop. The name of this tool is Timeliner. Actually, it was uh, it's designed uh, three years ago, and uh, last several months we found uh, some possibilities to uh, use it in learning queries as well. So we have started from a uh, uh, healthcare domain and we identified several possible scenarios in which we have some needs that uh, not covered by current apps. Uh, so the first uh, is uh, education meeting uh, for GP practices where we can uh, have example of bringing a new services into practice setting up a group uh, to look at these services and some and some need for managing and monitoring of work for this group it could be one thing that should be uh, managing during the time at the project then some scenario funding bid project uh, when we need to involve multiple practices to not have some kind of common environment uh, and manage development and application process and uh, <coughs> audit of uh, significant event when practices are rigid to conduct regular meetings to discuss and analyze uh, any significant event to improve their process practices in future so uh, as we found currently it uh, happens in such way this uh, meeting is recorded in minutes so separate documents in different places uh, after a longer period not reviewed by practice owners and aggregated into one report some summary document and problem that is hard to follow up with topic and fun across different events and minutes uh, are really read so we identified need like a uh, uh, clear need for flexible and collaborative intersubjective meaning making and management tool and surprise we found this tool designed in Telu and the uh, name of this tool is Timeline. It is a, a, a very simple mock-up to uh, explain what is Timeline is. So Timeline will start from some uh, document that created in some timeline, yeah? in, in some period of time, yeah? it is starting of project. In project you have some uh, milestone that you can code but with colors yeah and make some names for them yeah some deadlines in time then this project start to live this some kind of life and have some kind of versions during the time yeah we always have some current time it's now and we have something that was in in past so we can analyze what happened in past and of course we have something in future we can do something in future then we have uh, uh, several libraries. In first library, we have uh, possibility to create tasks, and tasks can be drag and drop it into timeline, so you can just arrange them. These tasks uh, in time. Then you have participants, and participants can be drag and drop it into tasks. So task will be assigned it to participants. So each participant can be. Uh, it's like uh, it is like a peer to peer system. So you not have some kind of manager here. So everyone can assign something for yourself or for somebody else yeah uh, or reassign or delete yourself from from the task yeah and then we have some resources that can be as well assigned uh build it into the task drag and drop just get the resource and drag and drop it so you can add resources by adding url links or by connecting uh, through api some services like google docs or mendeley or whatever then we have uh, uh, idea of uh, diary and messages uh, that uh, connected together in one interface. We actually uh, reused this idea in bits and pieces already, so it already works in bits and pieces, but it was designed initially for Timeliner before. Yeah, and uh, uh, such kind of uh, project oriented uh, tool, we, we, we call it a lightweight project management tool. Yeah, so lightweight because it is not so hard to use, like jump charts, yeah, where you have a lot of lot of knowledge to, 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 to have to, to, to make this work yeah 
It is something that uh, everybody can just start, make these tasks, and drag and drop users, drag and drop resources. And of course, we have some ideas how it can be uh, how it can be uh, used uh, in layers. Yeah. So connection of uh, introduc to significant event uh, uh, analysis. Uh, one focus because patient report uh, system can be handle uh, these events their evolution and follow-ups follow-up actions by now so, uh, evolution of some project at first and, uh, project and task planner is necessary which enable the time management data in relation in, in, uh, 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 in relation to certain significant analysis and we propose timeline so how we can uh, use this timeline in uh, layers yeah so first li living document can be just uh, Started from this, so there can be just visualization of like the dashboard. Yeah, you start to work for project, and you uh, launch living documents from this uh, place where uh, this document is. Then uh, task management functionality. Uh, we can uh, reflect task management that already exists in Intradoc. Yeah. Then we have uh, seeing support, so we can look for people and go into seeing support application from here then of course we have some collections of resources or learning episodes uh, when resources are <coughs> sorted already yeah and can be reused in this learning process here yeah? and of course we have uh, some current time and this slide slice of time can be anal analyzed it we can do some visualization what kind of actors and artifacts was involved into uh, this time and uh, had some activities yeah so uh, just a couple of words uh, so uh, we have this tool uh, actually implemented as a uh, uh, software prototype everyone can use it just use, uh, having a, a facebook account and the tool is very simple right now not so not so much but you can use this link and try it on yourself my make project there. and uh, last thing I, I, I would like to say that uh, we have only scenarios right now for, for um, uh, healthcare domain but of course uh, uh, we already talked with people and people say that in, in, in construction building domain can be other kinds of interesting scenarios of using timeliner so today we will have this uh, table rotations and on, on our table timeliner is one of applications so if you have some initial ideas we share uh, it with us so we can uh, we can elaborate this further thank you very much